bug riser? What's a bug riser? Is that like the trick you use to grind bug frags? Well, if you've never heard of bug riser, I wouldn't be surprised. He's rather unknown of even having a name. And that is what makes him the perfect candidate for the first entry in this year's Obscure October. So let's look at who this unknown character is in The Basis on Bug Riser. When I was young, I remember playing Battle Network 6 Gregar and finding a certain Giga card in a bug frag shop. It cost a lot but sounded cool. Bug R Sword. And it had some sick looking navy on it. He had a cool four point star visor with a horn helmet and a trench coat that my edgy preteen self was all about. He had what looked like to be a dark sword on his arm and man, he just looked wicked. The other version, faults are, you can acquire Bug Death Thunder. This chip had him holding his hand out doing an electric attack that gave a better look to his face. I simply thought it was a mystery no-name, just like the knight themed navvies you see on Battle Chips Hero Sword and Goldfist. Both Battle Chips will change your charge shot to either a 2x3 sword slash or a large thunderball at the cost of eating up your bug frags. There's even a little bug frag animation when you power up with them. Man, back in the day, all we had was this pixelated box on a small GBA screen to kinda make out the guy's design. Unless you were lucky enough to have a physical battle chip. But thanks to the Legacy Collection, we get a crystal clear look at this bugged out navy. His coat is more like a cloak or a cape coming off of some armor. And his color scheme is the usual purpley blue blurple that we normally see bug frags have. He also has some greenish dots all across him, which, wait, we've seen this design before. Gospel and Bug Style Mega Man both share this trait. With the battle chip having Bug in its name, it's now no coincidence that this affected look is the look of a bugged out Navi. It's really cool that such a small detail is carried over throughout the game to showcase an effect that hardly arises plot wise. Well, you couldn't find him at all in Battle Network 6, Bug Riser has a small bonus chapter of the manga dedicated to him. In it, Scilab is testing a new Navi Stadium, where copies of Navis can battle freely. This was actually a promotional nod from Capcom for the arcade game Battle Network Stadium, which was home to some neat exclusive content, making it a good home for Bug Riser. The chapter starts with Mega Man and Colonel clashing while Proto Man and Base fight. However, the stadium begins to glitch, and the bugs inside of it cluster to form a new being. Bug Riser. This is similar to how Gospel was born. But unlike Gospel, Bug Riser shows collective thought and intelligence. He effortlessly takes out base in one shot, as well as eating the others with bugs. Back in Scilab, Lan, Chod, and Dr. Hikari are freaking out for fear if Bug Riser were to get out on the net. While simply turning off the router would suffice, that's no fun. The heroes jack in and do battle against the buggy boy, who is significantly tall, like almost as tall as Duo. While in battle, he's able to attack with the two Giga Chips we see in Battle Network 6, solidifying that those are indeed his own moves. He's resilient, tanking a program advance. However, thanks to Dr. Hikari, the three are able to create a new program advance exclusive to the arcade game to take out Bug Riser. While that really marks pretty much all there is on Bug Riser himself, there does seem to be a successor to him, in some way. In the Star Force series, there is a battle card, Break Saber, that features a similar looking navi on it, wielding the Break Saber. Much like Bug Riser, he isn't an EMB and you can face or even talk to. Oh well. These cool looking characters are just cursed to be images only. That pretty much wraps up our first entry on Obscure October. What do you think of Bug Riser? I'd love to know what you thought of him before knowing he was actually a named character. Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, 
Rock on!